Okay, I am at an intersection right off of I-40 in Memphis. And the street I'm on is called Appling Farms. I'm just getting video. Same time, you know, I understand you're an independent journalist. Yeah. I had a sign. I don't know. Yeah. Do you have any business to do here? Yes. Okay. What is it? Um, I'm an independent journalist, and okay. um, I'm clear to come in, and you can't film in here if you have no business. So if well, you have no business, you'll need to go ahead. Okay. This is a public lobby. Is that okay. correct? You don't have I would like to have a complaint form, but in a public lobby in a public building, okay. the First you Amendment covers have, recording. You don't have any business in here. You don't have any business in here. Okay. You realize this is a public lobby. Okay. Can I have a complaint form? Well, how do you take complaints, sir? What is your name and badge number, please? Ma'am, I'm also sitting. I appreciate that. Your badge number? 4960. I appreciate, I appreciate it. Who you not feeling? I'm asking you for, for my privacy. For my privacy. For well, my privacy what was, and my safety. What was your my, safety? Yes, I'm How, a police officer and you filming me and I don't know you're the you're one. You're the that. one with the gun. Again, ma'am. You have a gun, I, I have a camera. Ma'am. Ma sir. Ma'am. Sir. I have not said anything or did anything of a violate your privacy and I'm actually not to violate mine. What? Ma'am, ma do you have a business? I, I actually do, and I'm trying to explain it. He's having a hard time letting me explain. I am a First Amendment auditor, and I take video and pictures of public property, including the public lobbies. It's a First Amendment. You have on you? I don't need press credentials. Okay. It's a First Amendment right to anyone yeah, that's a citizen in this country. You cannot come in and disturb these people. I haven't home. disturbed I'm anyone. I signed in. He asked me to sign in. He well, what is he your here? All I wanted to do was video the but place, and I would have been gone. Okay, but you still did not. You can't just come in with a with, with a phone. You? Yes, you can. No, no you can't. It what is a First is Amendment man, protected man. activity. Yes. Okay. Well, you how do how I've been trying, and y'all keep interrupting no, me and not letting me explain. You stand up holding the camera in front of the guy while he's working. Get to the business aspect of what you. May I have your name and you your know, badge number? Colonel Rodney Hader. Okay. The colonel has asked you, did you have business? Why did well, you not? You just stand up, shining the. the I camera. was taking so. pictures of our public lobby. That all the citizens well, own. Right, that was my actual business. You didn't come in and ask permission. You didn't come in and ask permission. I don't need to. No, it's a first time. No, when you he asked me, I told him. Like, we don't know what's, what's I said I'm an independent journalist. I, asked, I was very nice to him. Why would I show you ID? Did I break a law? Is this a stop an ID state? Am I driving a car? Any of those? We asked for ID. You tell me your legal reason for me to give you ID. I just told you one. It's a First Amendment right. It's a right. Because you keep you keep you keep on this conversation. To take pictures hey, of the Peter, building, whatever. and I would have walked yeah. right out. Nope. You said you don't have forms. Do y'all not have complaint forms in police stations in Memphis, Tennessee? No. What is your complaint? It doesn't matter what my complaint is. I would like to have a form to file a complaint if I desire to do so. I would like to have a form. If you have forms, do they exist? Do they exist? Y'all don't have forms. No, not just file a complaint. No, you just file a complaint verbally through one of the people here that you need to do. Then y'all are just blue lining each other. What I'm supposed to say, hey, he did this, and you're going to say, no, he didn't. Y'all just back each other up. There's no accountability. Well, how am I supposed to make it? Yeah, I know I know what a chain of command is. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'll take it up to my hire, each S line, and uh -huh. they'll address your complaint. Okay, how am I supposed to do that? Tell me what your complaint is now. Inform my okay, supervisor. the way that y'all have not respected me and my First Amendment right to record. You have not you at all. You have right to you record. You, at all. you have, you're telling me that I can't come in here, that I need to provide some form of ID like this, this camera. Is complaint. We ask everybody comes in here to file a complaint to show ID.
that feels really weird, like an intimidation tactic. I really appreciate you being such a gentleman opening the door for me. Ma'am, you need to leave the property. You don't need to be rude. Yeah, to I'm, I'm strolling property. off the property. I've done to nothing to you. Right. All right. We're calling Mem Memphis, Tennessee on behalf of uh, 515 50 a lot of numbers. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, I'm going to be I'm going to be editing a truncated version of the tyranny here. Let um, me say. Oh man, um, it was a total shit show. I don't need. You didn't come in and ask for permission. When he asked me, I told him. I said uh, I'm an independent journalist. I she handled herself person. flawlessly. She handled herself flawlessly, and I am very proud of her. Not that she gives a shit, but uh, she handled herself flawlessly. You have reached the Memphis Police Department, Appling Farm Station. If this is a police emergency, please hang up and dial 911. Press 1 for Neighborhood Watch, press 2 for a station directory, press 3 for Tyranny, press 3 for or press 0 for a desk officer. Desk officer. I wonder what, I wonder how much, how many people have to rape to get to a desk job at a police department. Hi, who am I speaking with, please? Officer Laverty. Laverty? For Laffer Lafferty. Like Rafferty's with an L. I didn't understand a word of that. Um, uh, my name is Johnny. I'm, I'm a journalist. I'm, I'm calling in uh, in regards to a video that I saw of YouTube of uh, a journalist that was inside one of the police lobbies and was um, berated by all of the officers in the precinct. Is it your policy to ID everybody that walks into a police department? No, sir. Any journalist that walks in with the right credentials. Well, what credentials would those be, sir? That walks in and wants to talk to what, what credentials? To what credentials would those be? Would that be? If you're a reporter, you should. Uh, did you say you're a reporter? I am a reporter. Yeah, all reporters have credentials. They do. And issued by whom? Uh, the people you work for. Okay. Uh, okay, in, in Reno versus U.S., which is a Supreme Court case in 1996, uh, everybody is considered a journalist, and there is actually no need for press credentials. But I know you knew that. Also, well, if, if they want to get an interview on any kind of complaint or anything, they have to get some sort of ID of credentials if it's going to be a, if they're talking as a reporter. You guys want to double even down on that? Even an independent reporter. Even an independent reporter. So now, if you're John Q. citizen and want to ask some questions that, that don't pertain to anything, we'll be glad to talk to you about them. So all of the... Once you say you're a reporter and, you, and you're here, we assume that you're here for a story and we would like to... Uh, know who we're commenting the story to. Why is, why is that necessary? Other than power and control? It, a lot of times we like to read what uh, uh, you write. Oh, well, you'll, you'll, you'll find out. Putting it into, okay. You can't dispute whether, you know, you change the story or not. Okay. I mean, it's just common sense. Well, listen, I mean, you guys change the story all the time on stuff, and you say, oh, my God, the guy pulled the gun on me, so I shot him, and then you plant the gun on him. So, I mean, that, I mean, you guys change, you, you know, you don't like it when it, when it gets turned around on you guys. That sounds more like it, actually. That may be true, sir, in some cases, but that's why people have lawyers and stuff like that, and they get them all involved. Okay. Like, it's their name. So you think... They it, put their names in the lawsuit and all that stuff. So it you... happened in the world. I won't deny that. What, that, that cops plant guns on, on innocent people after they've been shot and killed? I'm sorry? 
so people, so police, you you're agreeing with me that police plant uh, evidence on people like a like a burner gun that they might have stored in their trunk and. Yes, I do because some officers have gone to jail for doing that. Yes, yeah. I do. Yeah. No, I know. That's why. Well, the, well this, this is. This, therein the lies the rub. People wrote those stories. They share their name and they share who they work for and stuff. That's how we know whether they're telling the truth and stuff. I, I see. see so, I'm failing. I mean, I'm, you know, y'all. Look, we're, we want. Uh, if you come in here, we want to help you as much as possible. If you've got something to ask us, we'll be glad to tell you. But no, we do not have complaint forms up at the desk. Okay. If you have a complaint, you go to a, a supervisor. Okay. And, and he will write the thing down. Well, she actually said that she had a complaint. Actually, in the video, uh, she said that she had a complaint and they were going to take it verbally and then when they heard what it was, they dismissed it immediately and said, you don't have a valid complaint. So well, their complaint was there was no complaint form. Okay, is it your policy to have complaint forms? No, I just told you what the policy is. Okay. Any person that walks in here, most people do not want to write a complaint down because they're mad at the time they want to talk to a supervisor. And oh. that's how it's set up. Well, that's if you came in here right now and you want and you had a complaint of no matter what magnitude, uh if it's in our control, meaning it has something to do with the law or has something to do with one of our personnel, we let you talk to a supervisor. He writes down everything you say. And then if it's criminal, we take a statement, and you don't write nothing down. We okay. take a statement from you, you read that statement, and then you sign that statement. First you initial each page after reading it, and at the end you sign it saying, these are my words. Okay. Um, that's how that's how that goes. Well, but and that's probably the most. Uh, and and if you want it on video while we do it, you're more than welcome to do it. Well, what if you say that you're a journalist, and then we're right back to square one, where you're not allowed to film at that point unless you well, show well, press credentials. If you're a journalist, uh, and you're 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 doing. This. Hold it one second. Okay. All right. Okay. information on a particular case or something and it's something we're investigating well, unfortunately we can't give out that information you know that too if any open case you can't give out that information on okay so, uh, but they uh, any of the supervisors well, we're not allowed to give you a story but any of our supervisors are allowed to sit down with you Okay. and uh, talk to you about any case, I mean, any closed case you want, any complaint that you have on one of their personnels or if you've been mistreated. Okay, well, I, I'm just, but, I'm, I'm uh, calling to let you know that there's a couple cases. The first one I misquoted, it was it's Reno versus ACLU from 97, and then there's also Brandsburg versus Hayes from 1972, um, where it makes a distinction between journalists and citizens. Well, we're not, yeah, but it, we're, nobody is uh, disputing that at this point. If he uh, you are. You, you, were saying, you were saying that, that you need press credentials. If you're pressed, that you must have press credentials. Yes, especially if you ask us on a, a okay. case. Okay. We have to know who we're turning it over to. We uh, no. that, you know that you have to show that you're, uh, even if you're going to say you're an independent reporter, Yes, you have to. We, we well, just. She said that the the entire reason. Somebody came in here, and I don't know who you are, but we had a, a story on uh, about you, and we had completed it on it, and uh, they said they wanted, it, and they were writing a story about it, and uh, uh, we would like to know who we're turning it over to. Would you not like to know who we're turning your information over to? Uh, I, I might want to know, but whether or not I'm required, like I, I'm requ I don't require somebody to ID. They were re requiring her to ID in order to stay to film. So in Reno versus ACLU. Um, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. That was all a big misunderstanding. She had the right to be in here to film. She can do that. 
has been taken care of. Her biggest complaint then was, because nobody stopped her filming, oh. was that she didn't, she didn't get a complaint form. And we don't, we do not provide complaint forms. We okay. supply a actual person to sit down with you, and he will write down your information. So you don't understand. So, so you you, you see where there's 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 a lack of a paper trail there, and because of the history that police have, that uh, oftentimes that the, the general public does not have a whole lot of confidence. Okay. That, well, let me ask you this question, sir. sir go ahead. Any form that you write down, you do not get a copy of. Well, I'll, I'll, shoot, a I'll shoot a picture of it with my phone, I'll ha and then I have a copy of it. How does that sound? No, 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 sir. You could not take a picture of it with your phone. What, what law is any that? Form that? Any form that you write down with us is an investigation. Until that inv investigation is closed, you do not get a copy of it. <laughs> Okay. Even, if you, even if you went out and shot somebody and you wrote uh, that you did shoot somebody and wrote out the whole statement or you committed uh, any uh, uh, crime, you do not get a copy of that until the case has uh, been adjudicated. Okay. Or your lawyer, you get a That's lawyer amazing. and he gets a copy of it. But you don't get it. Okay. Uh, regardless, so there's that's how that goes. well. Regardless, there's so still really there's, do, so y'all do not want a complaint form. Okay, well maybe we saw a different video, but the they were they were uh, completely triggered by the fact that she was merely filming in the lobby. So you're saying you've right. gotten past that? You guys have been educated. Is that correct? You're, okay, if you if you saw her come in the second day. She spoke with me, and she filmed the whole time. She sat right over there, and we just told her to have a seat over there, and she said fine, and she kept her camera on the whole time. So let me ask you the question, so, what what changed from that day to the, to the day pre prior? What the change was is that those officers were not up on the policy. That They thought that policy meant from being outside the building, it also pertains to being inside the building too okay so, well well then uh, great so then right. they got an education for fun and for free and we did some on-the-job training and um so we're making some progress here so i applaud you guys That's right yep so, absolutely so if y'all want to come back if y'all want to come back y'all can film all you want in there in the, in the lobby here okay perfect all right, I appreciate it, I and mean, uh, I appreciate we're, you guys. Um, we're, we're glad we we're glad you came to Memphis, and uh, we hope y'all have. Yeah, Memphis. Time. Memphis is a great town, man, and you got you guys got some you got some some great ribs there too. So, <laughs> so. Do you live here? Uh, no, I don't. I've been I've been in Memphis though, and it's it's a great it's a great city. So uh, I love Memphis. Okay. So well, they, I, can I call you a first name or something? Yeah, Johnny. Johnny, I mentioned yeah. Right, so I appreciate well, I appreciate your candor with me and uh, yeah thank you I appreciate it. Well, th thanks for change since the first day she's been in here. Perfect so, uh, and, uh, and and uh, that, that's great I really appreciate I it. I don't even remember her name when well, she didn't give us her name Miss Anonymous. She yeah. Tell Miss Anonymous to come on back and see us. Okay great thanks so much. All right. All right. Thank okay you. bye. Bye. Damn, 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 damn! I can't even speak. I was trying to too many Red Bulls or not enough. Well, there you have it, kids. So people say that, oh, we can't, we don't make any change, auditing is dead, fuck you in the neck. So um, there you have it. There is uh, a teachable police force. And sadly, the only reason that they've been teachable is that they were read the riot act by the, uh, by the city attorney, trust me, um, that they were in the wrong. So, uh, and she did come back on the second day, and apparently that was the, uh, the guy that she spoke with on the second day. So, um, and he also doubled down on cops do shoot and kill people and plant evidence. So, um, wow, that was pretty, uh, there was some transparency there. So, uh, uh, hats off to uh, 515050, and that's it, everybody.